Hey there, MTS here from JobReadyProgrammer.com, where we teach thousands of students how to code and get jobs in software development. I've said this before in some of my other videos, and I'm going to say it again. Stay away from front-end focused careers. If you're only stuck in front-end JavaScript, CSS, SASE, HTML, Bootstrap, you know, just design, UI design, um, and you haven't invested enough time building uh, good applications from start to finish, from the data layer to the middle tier, server side, APIs, uh, how to containerize applications, how to construct proper software objects, how to deploy applications in different types of environments. If you don't have that experience and you're only in front end, well, guess what? Front end changes all the time. You could be stuck in a, a, a job for two to three years and by the time you leave that job and you try to look for another job and if you were only doing front end, you're gonna realize that the landscape has changed because front end changes all the time. Now you have to relearn a new framework. You finished learning Angular um, three or whatever, let's say, and, and you were working in that company for several years. Now you come out and realize there's not as many Angular jobs out there. Uh, and now you gotta learn Vue.js or uh, what have you. So th th things change a lot in UI. And another problem with UI is um, for entrepreneurs, there are a bunch of tools that are becoming more and more robust for designing UIs, literally with drag and drop functionality. And this is just the beginning. I, I can see that becoming a much, much more advanced uh, um, uh, capability for most entrepreneurs. They will be able to, they wouldn't need to code, but they could use some of these um, advanced features in these UI building tools to build out a proper UI for their business, you know, for their web app or for their mobile app and so on. And so where would that leave uh, someone that has only focused on front end? Um, you know, so that's really important. Focus on the back end and server side. That's really what I condone, and as well as the middle tier. Constructing proper software objects, learning to use um, abstraction in your code, how to make your code more extensible, um, how to deploy the code in different uh, environments, whether it's prod, uh, or UAT or QA or dev or whatever, learn how those different environments work, the server side. Um, and then, of course, you know, uh, proper design principles, object-oriented design is huge. Um, it's needed in Python. It's needed in Java. And Java and Python are the most popular languages ever. Right? They're, they're the number one and number two. Um, and so that's really, really critical. You have to um, have a good breadth of knowledge. And, and, and be able to put everything together to build an application. A full stack software developer typically knows the back end, front end, server side, but they're not front end experts. They don't have to be. They just need to know a little bit of HTML, CSS, and be able to make API calls with JavaScript or something and, and kind of put the piping together. But most of the work that they'll be doing is on the data layer, uh, in the business uh, logic of the application, in the middle tier, um, and you know, working with services, uh, perhaps calling other APIs, saving the data, or whatever, uh, or using external tools like Spark, Apache Spark, or Elasticsearch, or some other third-party uh, tool uh, to integrate with the application, and so on. There's a lot more involved, um, or perhaps using Docker to containerize the application and deploy it on AWS, and so on. I, I teach all that in my uh, Spring Boot course. So, um, you know, these are these are critical things that you have to you have to know. So, for just to give you a breakdown. Uh, on jobreadyprogrammer.com, my site, we have uh, the data analyst path and the software developer path. And so notice the types of things we're learning in the software developer path. Uh, I stay away pretty much for, from, from JavaScript or front end, really. Um, but learn Java, practical Java development. We go over some uh, practical stuff here. Uh, and then object-oriented design in Java. This is a huge course. Then boot, uh, you know, spring boot, um, that's important. And then practical data structures and algorithms, right? To, to, to really improve your coding logic and, and, and your ability to just code anything you want. You need to have this course mastered and then learn Java through coding puzzles and eliminate code fear. This is another important course. Uh, I just have one for up and running with jQuery. This just teaches you CSS selectors, HTML, um, you know, and, and how to use just basic UI components to at least put so, get something out the door in the front end. Uh, but really, you know, th this is a really important course, practical design patterns in Java. That's huge. Or if you want to use uh, sort of a big data technology, we have Ultimate Apache Spark with Java course right here. That's the software developer, right? So it incorporates pretty much everything, mostly middle tier and server side. 
Um, and then data analyst is the other where we're only involved with data, and there's a lot of jobs in this field as well. You know, SQL, these two SQL courses are going to really just uh, turn you into a SQL wizard. Uh, we talk about transpose queries, cross tab, learn about all different types of aggregations. I don't think I cover cross tab here. I'm not sure, but I might be updating uh, one of the lectures here to incorporate a cross tab. Don't worry about what that is if, if you don't know. But I constantly, um, you know, modify the, some of the courses on this site to keep up to date and just make sure that everything that people are learning is of a low time preference that requires um, someone to, you know, th th that can really make someone's career last for the next 10 or 15 years. Java's been around for, what, 30 years now, maybe longer? Python's been around longer than that, and SQL has been around for almost 50 years. And these things uh, don't change that often, all right? The fundamental principles of good software construction, data modeling, and design don't change that often. Those are the things you want to focus on to be a solid software development professional. Um, with UI, you know, you learn, let's say you finish learning Angular, you worked at a company for three years, you, you leave that company and you realize, wait a minute, no one's using Angular anymore. Now I have to learn Vue.js or React Native or something. And then when you dive into React Native, you realize, you know, React Native is, by the way, is, is for cross-platform development. You can build uh, a web app with it as well as uh, a mobile app using pretty much the same code base, but you'll realize there's all these different quirks in the way the code works on the mobile app, on the phone, uh, on an Android device or an iPhone device or a web app. So it's just, you know, it's, it's much easier actually to um, know a fundamental software development language first and just transport, transport those skills over to, you know, Android uh, development or Swift development for iPhone or something and build that native app with, within that phone uh, versus, you know, using some abstraction language uh, that's wrapped up in JavaScript. And that's, that's just going to make things more hairy. And it's really a workaround uh, for uh, things. And I wouldn't recommend that. And that changes way, way too often. If you want a smooth career that lasts long, uh, where you're constantly building skills that actually matter uh, for you to be able to build a project from start to finish, end to end, you got to focus on the fundamentals and the uh, you know good software development pr principles, uh, which are also taught, of course, in these courses. All right. So hopefully this video was helpful. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.